had an acoustic show, like a, uh, a management showcase. So we recorded the songs up that night, just me and Johnny. And, and Tom learnt all the songs overnight and came and played it. And it was just, oh, it was killer, man. Like, and then played the gig in a little sort of, uh, it's a vegan cafe in Camden. We thought we should put in a cover because, you know, lets people know, you know, something they know. We decided on the day that we were going to do The Wait, uh, you know, by the band. I'm a huge fan fan, you know what I mean? I was like, uh, I think it was on my list. I think I was the one who brought it in. So Johnny had like the morning to learn the lyrics. And it, so the lads said, oh, would you be up for doing The Wait? And I was like, yeah, I'd know The Wait, you know, like, you know, I can do The Wait. It is a great song and everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. <laughs> That's what you would think. <laughs> everyone knows it. Massively massively overestimating my ability to remember all those lyrics. The, the lyrics in the verses don't make any sense, and there's about 200 verses. So good luck to anybody trying to learn that. Yeah, we'll play the wait. Yeah, cool. Um, so I was like, um, I walked into Nazareth, asking about a half past day. And that was kind of all I could remember of the entire five verses. I was like, fuck it, I'll just, I'll write it out. I'll just write it out and have a cheat sheet. No, I'll get on to it. It's just an acoustic jam. It, it, it won't matter. The Johnny thought he was uh, well prepared. He printed out the lyrics of the ways because they were going to perform it acoustically. And um, so he was like, I've, I've got this sorted. I've got the lyrics to the way here. He was like, if I get the first line, I've, I've got the song nailed. Um, because nobody told him how dark and crowded the room was. As we get on stage, I put me the set list and the cheat sheet next to me, and then they turn the lights down, and they've got these like stage lights. It was only a tiny little basement room, the Green Note in Camden, I think it was. And uh, so Tom's behind me on this old bar room, Joanna. I've got Azza next to me on the acoustic, and I'm sat on this stool. And just as the lights go down, I can see this cheat sheet just disappearing into the abyss. <laughs> As the lights are going down, I can literally, it was like it was sinking. You know, and I, I was like, oh, God, there go all my hopes and dreams. Johnny rewrote it in, on the spot. And so decided to stumble his way through, completely making up all the lyrics. I think he maybe got, the first verse was pretty spot on, I think. But then past that point, it was like, oh, you're, you don't know what you're doing there. I, I only remember, I remember looking up at Aaron and just meeting his eye at one point, because we both realised that the, the, the words were starting to morph a little bit into something else and he was singing all sorts of stuff and it wasn't bad but uh, it was like being sort of like on the rack suspended in time for five ice cold minutes uh, where you wonder if you're going to have um, uh, a gig ever again in your life. <laughs> I managed to get through it. Also nonsense. Not, not like I get through that first line. And it's like then little bits of it are coming back to me as, a, as we're going to go, walked into Nazareth, was feeling about a half past ten. And seen burn so I can eat my bread. <laughs> Thinking like, oh, I don't, what happened to that verse about the bloke and his dog? You know, old Chester or whatever. <laughs> and while Johnny's regaling us with tales of uh, pub life in Liverpool and, you know his his own like life story, getting engaged, we weaving all that into it. And I have to say, his version was I, I liked his version better. It was good. We should release it one day. You know, Johnny's got more charisma than he's got. Um, he's got fear. But no one seemed to get onto it. Like there was a load of people there. No one seemed to get onto it. You can get blinded by the the charisma sometimes, even if the content's bollocks <laughs> so johnny 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 kept going with it that's one of those songs that i have now solidly committed to memory you know like it's one of those that if someone pointed a gun at me i'd be able to write it out backwards now i'm not fucking doing that again the song's mad anyway in it like it's uh, it's an it's a bit of a mad set of lyrics if you read them if they've been knocking on evan's door say there's a logic to that kind of there's a logic to the song it kind of follows a story where the weight was definitely written by a bunch of guys who were on POCs, you know? So I could just get away with kind of, I can eat my bread. Said, baby, what you say now? And I can lay my head. You know, I could just get away with it. But, uh, no. <laughs> everyone seemed to like it, man. Everyone must have been drunk. Uh, I've just come to the conclusion that everyone was drunk. <laughs>